Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT. Yo. You know AI is taking over the world currently. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. So a New York lawyer uh-huh. de- decided okay. that it would be a good idea to let chat GPT... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. do legal research for his cases. Okay, I've heard the story. I'm familiar. Yes. And how he got caught <laughs> was that yeah. he didn't even vet the goddamn information, no, and he, he cited cases that didn't, didn't exist. exist. Yeah. And then when he... He's a 30-year attorney, so he's not, like, new. Yeah. He said that... He didn't think that it gave information that wasn't true. It 100% does, though. That's one of the biggest things with ChatGPT is that you still have to critique everything that it puts out because it will confidently lie to you. It will well, lie it uses the internet. There's so much fake-ish on the internet constantly that... I mean, regardless, the, the product isn't going to be what it is. So, you, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's so insane. freaking lazy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, and that's what it is, is that it, it it's going to end up making people lazy. And as it gets better and it becomes more accurate and people are able to lean on it even further because it becomes more credible. Idiocracy, dude. That's, yeah. what, that's what we're going to. Yeah. Or just, and eventually it's going to be like everyone is dumb. And just they go to AI, they they use it, they don't know anything. I don't want to say that everybody's going to be dumb, but I'm going to say it starts with one 30-year attorney using it to do legal work because he's having a bad week, and then it's going to turn into, like, anybody could be a 30-year attorney because they've been using chat GPT for however long, or you could just be a... Th- what I don't know. You could be a doctor. We already got we already got Doctor Love <laughs> pretending to be a doctor like four and five times, getting caught and going oh, to jail for it. Give me a doctor backyotomy. Yeah, Doctor Love Robinson. Are you? You remember? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that is. No. Yeah, I'm just saying. Is that like, like Doctor Drew? Uh, no. Doctor Love Robinson was. Uh, he had like a not imposter syndrome. What do you call? It? It's the opposite of. He's imposter. like the Miss Cleo of doctors. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, he never was a doctor. What's the, he had the opposite of imposter syndrome. Impo- oh, uh, Dunning Kruger. No. Is that Dunning Kruger? <laughs> no, that's the stupidest people in the room think they're smart. Well, uh, that's like everyone thinks they're really good at something when they're not. Yeah, he 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 was like, I really like doctors. I'm a doctor now. I'm gonna start a practice. Oh, he did I'm like gonna, Jedi mind tricks. I'm He's going, like, I'm a doctor now. Yeah, I'm a doctor now. I'm gonna start a practice. I'm gonna have patients. I'm going to prescribe medication. I'm gonna that kind of stuff. And he did it multiple times and ended up going to. I jail. mean, he's got a nice uh, character, like he, Moxie. Right yeah, there. right. So if he had had, uh, like, it, it's so amazing to me, man. It really is because, like, just to out myself for a little bit, like I grew up in a time where there was Encyclopedia Britannica, right? Yeah, yeah. We Like, my grandmother had a, a set of encyclopedias at her house. Yes, yes. I had one when I was in elementary school. I had dial-up internet. Yeah. All of that. I had all of that, right? Yeah. We've seen the invention of the smartphone. Yeah, the internet. The invention Boom. of the internet. Uh, that's what I'm, you know, I'm going through the, the yeah. row here. Obviously, it started out with encyclopedias. Then we got the invention of the internet. Then we got smartphones, so everybody had the internet in their pocket. And now, I'm seeing AI. Yeah. And people are like, "Yo, I'm gonna start putting chips in your brain." Fam, that's crazy. This yeah. is the ish I used to watch in cartoons that people would call the future, and I'm I'm loving to see it happen. And I don't think this necessarily going to happen like it did in the movie. Come on, man. Y2K was some bullshit. Yeah. Like, people are overhyping this shit. And I do want to get to that point is that I feel like it's being a little overblown. But I would not. I would never ignore the warnings, you know? Oh, yeah, dude. It's it's interesting because if you think about it, just remember when you were, like, younger, mm-hmm. the, the people would just say some wild-ass shit and you would have no way to prove it right or wrong. My grandpa said, 
Yeah. Like, bro, like, you know what? You have to, like, go to the library, look, yeah. at, look through the catalog to find a book. Hopefully it was at the library. If not, they had to order it from another library. Yeah. Like, three months later, you finally got the answer you were looking for. Yeah. You had to write a, a report. You had to go to the goddamn library and get books. Yeah. And read them. And then, if honestly, if you think about that, before that, man, information was just word of mouth. So, I mean, we've, we've come a long way as, as humans, man. It's, it's amazing. And it's just snowballing. That's why I feel like the AI thing, it's just starting to really become, like, common conjecture. Yeah. It, in, like, three years, it's going to be everything. Yeah, I, I mean, feel like it's going to move way faster than anything else. It's definitely going to be moving. It's definitely going to be moving. And it's, it's crazy to me. It's like all the stuff that we deemed as like being futuristic and stuff is kind of happening now. So what's the future for now? What's the future in our minds now? Like how far are we the metaverse? Like... I'm joking. <laughs> you want to you, you lie in like a, a, a freaking vat a of salt water, a, a weightless salt pool. Yeah. And you just like you're just connect like the matrix. You'll live forever. The matrix but... is really what it is. Like yeah. where they're going to plug that thing in the back of your goddamn neck. You're going to be in a chair and you're just going to be living your life in your brain. It, it's hard to not see that as being a potential option, to be honest, because like, look, it's getting to the point now where. I, I don't. I don't know. I feel like the alien thing is is definitely an issue. Yeah. I if Neuralink becomes successful and they can hook computers to brains, yeah. The the real Matrix is coming. Oh, did you think that? It, is it, well, that is like essentially what the metaverse is going to be, except for it's going to be like not look like Xbox 360 Marketplace. It's going to look like real life. It, I think it's going to happen in like uh, they're going to be able to keep people with like terminal illness alive in that way, and then you just like okay, we'll give you the Neuralink. We'll put you in a vet. This will keep you alive. And then you can continue to do business for X amount of years. <coughs> Until your family forgets to pay the bill and they shut you off. <laughs> then pay grandma's metaverse subscription. Oh, they'll, 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 they'll plug you back in if uh, if you pay your bill late. They'll plug you back they give you like a six-month grace where they cut you off and you're just like in this limbo. Yeah. You're in like a metaverse purgatory yeah. just hanging out. Oh, I'm sorry. You've been evicted. Put an eviction notice on your tube. It's like me and Thomas Edison hanging out in the metaverse purgatory just like talking about electricity. God. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's coming next. I don't know if I want to know. I see like uh I see like them making actual space stations. We already got like billionaires making rocket ships and uh sending people like big stuff. space stations. Yeah, I feel like what's the next idea space for space condos? I mean, look, a lot of people are talking about uh inhabiting Mars, I guess, or like making Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was kind of the thing, yeah. Yeah. I I watched the Neil deGrasse Tice. I watch a little bit of his podcast every once in a while, and uh he had a, a young lady on who actually specialized in this uh in the field of making like structures that are supposed to be on different planets. Okay. It was pretty interesting stuff, man. It was it's getting the materials out there is the hard part. Yes, but all that takes is you money. You forget one screw, that takes you a long time to get it out there. True. But all that takes <laughs> is money, and once you have infinite amounts once of Once you have all of it, like Elon. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> More like the Rothschilds. <laughs> yeah. But, but we don't say their names. Yeah, but I mean, Elon's got more money than them. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. That's oh. what they tell us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bezos has more money than Elon. Doesn't oh, yeah, yeah, because Tesla went down. All of his money was in Tesla stock. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but no, man, it's, it's, I don't know what's coming. Mm. Like, I think it was funny because I remember being a kid and watching like the Jetsons reruns. And like when he would like call his boss on a video call being like, man, that would be so cool to like call my mom from home. And like my if mom's I on the screen. I swear to God, if somebody FaceTime me right now, I'm going to punch him in the face over the phone, of course. I'm going to do, like, the elbow drop on the phone. Don't you ever FaceTime me. Going to jump up on the couch and, it seemed and like drop a, a bow. What do you want to see from the future? What, what's something that you would like to see? Um, Let's see here. World peace. Would you like to see a cure for AIDS, cancer? They're moving along. There's a, there's a new cancer medication. I hear, like, I read a story that I feel like every three months about a new cancer treatment. that. But there's one in uh, another country where 90% Oh, I saw that. Rate? I saw that news story. Yeah, 90% mm -hmm. success rate of whatever. I don't know what which type of cancer it was or mm -hmm. whatever. But still, I mean. It's um, it's, oh, I mean, like, if I'm talking, like, big picture, I'd love to see, like, peace and, like, 
which will never happen because as long as there's defense companies because they have to make money somehow. Yeah. Um, I would like to see peace. Like just, homelessness, starvation, like, you know, all those things that like. I, I would like to see more peace in, in America itself. I would like to see yes. more, less animosity between pol politi political less division amongst the people yeah yeah but More if you uh but if you keep the people scared and divided they're easier to manage ain't that the truth jonas holy shit have you been reading shang sung i mean shang sung <laughs> shang <Su? laughs> yes <laughs> fatality <laughs> Um, yeah, dude, Sun it's, Sioux? it's, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting, but as far as like technological advances, right? Like not general world stuff. Yeah. I think like, I think VR that looks like reality would be fun. Yeah. Uh, Dangerous, but fun. Meta tried that. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. And it looked like Xbox 360. Like, looked, like yeah. if you could go in and yeah. it looks like real life. That would be pretty badass to do that. Yeah, that would that would be hard to do. Oh, absolutely. But yes, sure. that would be cool. Um, you know, even if it was like graphic graphically done, but it was like very close. Like, you know, like you know, yeah. some some of the animation looks very real life anymore, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um but even like at its best iteration that we have currently, it'd be like second life and yeah, that's yeah. not really doing something it. like that. I don't know. That's probably like it. VR but chat. What about you? We're we're out of time. So no, that's fine. Oh, you got so all right. Well that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to the crazy for Jonas. TNT. Yep.